Welcome to this video about evaluation of stiffness analysis in steel connection design. A lot of steel connections in engineering practice require not just a stress strain check but also stiffness analysis. Do engineers calculate with the flexibility of the connection in the finite element analysis models? Is the flexibility of connection crucial to the global finite element analysis? According to the code, we can classify the behavior of the connection into three classes, rigid, pinned, and semi-rigid. The first two are widely used in the engineering practice and every engineer knows their behavior. But in a real construction, the majority of connections is semi-rigid. For example, rigid frame with a linear load along the beam. Results for rigid connection and pinned connection are known and we can estimate them easily. What happens if we add flexible hinges on the ends of the beam with a certain value of flexibility? We recalculate the project. The load is redistributed along the beam and the values of internal forces are different. The flexibility of the connection has a major impact on the internal forces. That is why idea statica connection provides the initial stiffness and a lot of other information. The stiffness diagram is generated as a result of stiffness analysis. It shows us dependence of the bending moment on the rotation, level of design load, limit value of capacity of connection for the 5% equivalent strain, two thirds of limit capacity for calculation of initial stiffness, limits for the classification of connection, rigid and pinned, result table with all values, for example, initial stiffness and classification according to the code. For more information, tutorials, or videos, visit our website, ideastatica.com, and try it on your own. Ideastatica. Calculate yesterday's estimates.